Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. We are jumping in again to try out a new character that's part of the Epiphany mod. Uh, and this time we have the tarnished version of Samson, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, really an interesting character from what I've seen so far. I don't know too much about them, but I saw a little synergy showcase that Slay put out. But this character has literally just released recently. Um... And yeah, there's, there's sort of a lot going on here. So first off, as you can see, we've got like a little punchy punchy going on here, which is pretty cool. We also have the ability to charge up and slam down rocks and such, and then we can throw those at enemies. We also have Skull Smash, which um, I'm not exactly sure what that does. We've got throw here. Um, we can, if we're moving, we can use this to dash by the looks of it. Yeah, there you go. So if we're chat, if we're firing and then press Q, we can dash in a direction. That's kind of nice. Um, let's see what Skull Smash does. So I don't know what this icon is. Is that this? No. Press Q now. No. Hold this and press Q. Oh, yeah. Okay, that did it. Okay, nice. So that gives us a bunch of stats, and then um. We turn into this absolute rage monster, which I'm kind of loving. Um, kind of like Samson's rage. Oh. Uh. What? <laughs> that just killed me. Um, <laughs> figuring this out as we go along. So, I'm unsure exactly what Skull Smash would be used for, then, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> it's a bit intriguing. So, I think I want to be using our uh, throwables as much as possible. I think they're going to be really valuable. I think I want to make sure to uh, grab as much as I can. Missing post is kind of nice here. But yeah, I don't really know where it's going to be the right time to use Killer Instinct, to be honest. Uh, I want to use a dash here and see how good it is. Our damage seems pretty goddamn low to start with. But I'm guessing tier modifiers and stuff will help with that. Also, our range is really bad too. I don't, I'm don't. i not quite sure what this meter at the top is, uh, is doing, really. That's something that we're going to have to figure out. Oh, is it giving us stats? Okay, um, I got a 1.2 times multiplier, and then I've lost it. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So basically, the... Ah, okay, I like this a lot. So basically, the more I can keep damaging enemies and keep things dying, the more um, the more stats I get, I get to keep over the course of the floor, and I can constantly be building that by dealing more and more damage. That's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of... Um, what the hell's the character's name? The one where you swing his head around. Bertrand. Kind of reminds me of that with his pips that you can get. Can I carry these between rooms? I can. Nice. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use this that death rage thing for, whatever it was, whatever the hell it was called. I'm definitely noticing that my damage is pitiful, but I think that's just because I'm not using the uh, the droppables enough. Can I like just stack up a bunch of the droppables? Oh no, I can only have four at once. That's fair. He seems like a pretty weak character to start out with, but I'm hoping that that blossoms into a ridiculous strength. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> I'm losing it right now. I'm losing it. Oh, we've entered Mega Rage mode. Okay, but that 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 Mega Rage mode didn't kill us this time. Good. We got ourselves a cube of meat, which I don't feel like is going to be super useful for us, but of course we'll take it. And we get the fool card as well here. Yeah, I kind of like the, the fact that it's a melee character that just punches. That's kind of satisfying. See if I can open this up. Yeah, not bad. Got our money back and then some. Yeah, I'm not. I th feel like I'm not really using the throwables enough, and that's that's why where I'm losing it a little bit with this guy. Boom. I, may, I maybe need to be using the dash more as well, but the dash feels extra risky. Okay, good. Glaucoma. Unfortunately, not great. The chance of replacing spike chests and chests with flesh chests. Chance to shoot a bloody... Uh, yeah, that seems decent. We'll take that instead. Don't know how it's going to work with our fisticuffs, but we'll give it a go. Why not? Why not? Do you know what? I know it's like a bit kind of stupid. But I'm going to buy a red heart because I don't want to die really quickly on this showcase run. But yeah, 
always an interesting thing to see the Epiphany mod release um, a new Tarnished character and see exactly what sort of uh, shenanigans that they, they, they've got going on because it's always something wacky. Ooh, I really like the fact that all of the uh, the throwables are themed around the floor that you're on. It does seem like the, the dropping of the um, thingies does actually affect enemies as well. Boom, bow. Smash into that guy. Lovely. Need to get a bomb there as well. We might as well at least try and blow this up. Get a black heart, maybe. Oh, two bombs back. Also not terrible. I like the fact that you can carry one into another room with you, though, for a sort of head start a little bit. Hey, we do actually get the stun on our punch as well, which is kind of nice from Glockerma, that is. Kind of thematic with their punching that we stun enemies. Can we use our fisticuffs to... Oh, no. We can't, We can't like, fist over things to grab stuff like you can with other melee characters. The mulligan, potentially pretty good here. I don't mind that at all. Right. Keep it moving. Can I blow... I can blow up this with my throwables. It's just a little, little bit cumbersome. I'm not sure if I'm hitting that. I'm, I really don't want to get too close. I feel like I'm underutilizing some of the uh, some of the things on this character at the moment. I feel like there's definitely some things I may be doing wrong. Oh, speed down is really not great. I imagine this guy could be really good with herming. So all the shots that fall out of the um, thingies there would herm. Oh, dude. Hit twice there. I'm going to have a rough time with this guy. <laughs> Oh, playing him on with Fiend Folio on as well is uh, probably not the best of ideas with a character I don't really understand. Okay, we've entered Rage Mode again, but this is Death Rage, I think. Yeah, that, that was Death Rage. Okay, this is going to be rough. <laughs> he starts with just really, really, really low damage. I think I might need to use the, um, the, the dashing a little more, maybe. I think that's maybe something that I'm not uh, not taking full advantage of. That seems to do good damage. Yeah, that seems to do really good damage. I should use that more often. But we're learning. This is all. This is what these character showcases are all about. It's all about us trying to figure figure things out. Yeah, honestly, the the, the dash is, I think, my main my main issue. The dash seems to be really good if it hits an enemy against a wall. Obviously, it's only one enemy at a time, so it's not perfect. And get back in over here. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm liking this. Really risky with these guys. I'm going to try and throw at this guy. There you go. A little bit safer. We'll take on the boss straight away. we got XL floor here. Yeah, the, the throwables just... I don't know. They seem really, like, not useful. <laughs> They seem to do really, really low damage. Again, like I said, I'm probably just missing something. I think I've, I've got to figure out the character a little more first. But I, I really like the sort of combo feel to his combat. Like, it proper feels like you're doing some... Um, some proper like MMA fighting when you're diving around enemies. I do wish we um, had a bit more speed, even though we have good speed already starting out here. Even more with this character. Se seems like it'd be like really positive. Okay, blood bombs. It's at least HP. The token there that I'm going to leave for now. I don't think I've got anything specific I want to use it on. Yeah, the, the, the punches feel really like... Like, they're not doing a lot. They're not very impactful. But I think it's because you've got to really combo it with other things. You can't really have just it on its own. I also like the way the charge bar there looks like the donkey's jawbone. That's quite cool. Good. I just I, I want to use the throwables more, but they just... I think I need some buffs to them before, before they're going to be something that I can reasonably rely on to do decent damage. Hey, that's good. We got some damage now, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> this is really satisfying. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, I gotta say, I think I think I'm feeling a lot better now that I've got um some damage up and tears up. I mean, tears up seem really good as this guy. Absolute rapid fire punching. Uh, let's go. Let's go do our second boss. We've done, we've done both our item rooms here. I don't need to do all the extra rooms. We are losing our stats as we go here. It's a little bit sad. Ow. Ow. Punch the hell out of him. There you go, we got him. And meat. We're getting a lot of HP right now. Holy hell, our red hearts are sky high. They're soaring. And I kind of love it. It does reset our combo thing at the end of the floor by the looks of it. I suppose the, um, the, the, the throwables are, are literally just to give this guy a little bit of range. Because otherwise he has none. I really, I, I admire the fact that they made... Unique throwables for every floor. That's that's a that's, that's a level of detail that wasn't necessary, but goes completely appreciated by hopefully everyone, but definitely me. Yeah. Righty her then. I wonder if there's going to be ways or certain items that'll help us stack our meter even faster. If that's just going to be something that's based entirely on damage we deal. Keeping Devil Deal alive here without Soul Hearts is going to be near impossible for me. <laughs> it's not something I'm going to do a very good job at, I can tell you that now. Oh my god, taking so much damage. A mob base speed is lovely. Got a multiplier up pretty high there though, that's nice. Oh god. Oh dude, how was I meant to dodge that? Get out of here. Get out of here. I need more range. Range like with this punch seems like it could be really good actually. Right. Oh, I tried to throw while he was still in the air. God damn it. I really like the dash. I, I like at the minute the dash is like the main thing for me. I'm using it tons and it's really satisfying. Makes my combos just feel so much more. Gives them that, gives them that oomph, that oomph that we're looking for. Right, bunch of bees. Doesn't quite one shot these guys with the dash. We get damn close by the looks of things. Ah, oh, come on, I just missed that. Oh, dude, no! He got me. Went every which way but the item room. Every single goddamn time I do that. Every single goddamn time. Need a bomb for that tinted rock as well there. Well, there's, there's a bomb in here. I'm sure it's not just lying on the floor, right? Ah, no, okay. I thought it'd be over a gap. Our meter's going down really slowly now. Seems to have reached some sort of cap. Dude. Okay. Things are getting a bit wacky, but we're getting back to normalcy now. Throw down these. I'm really looking forward to getting some, like, tier modifiers to make our throwables even better, because I think they are the key to this character. Potentially. It's all, it's all just figuring it out at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, our meat is all the way full now, look. And we get ourselves heart rupture here, which is pretty decent, right? Right, let's go for our boss. Bosses are definitely my biggest worry right now. This guy being so sort of close range seems like it could be a struggle for us, uh, especially with certain bosses, especially some of the Fiend Folio ones. I can really imagine that being something that could potentially put us in a bit of trouble. But we shall see how we fare. I mean, this, this boss isn't particularly bad. Let's do some throwables. Yeah, the, da the damage is just so... So low. <laughs> For how risky you have. You're going to get so close. It's okay, though. We're managing. We're managing. 
Nah, it's just it requires a bit more skill. Torn further, that's good. Even more fire rate. Fire rate's helping a ton. HP is once again not looking super great right now, but... As I said, we'll keep pushing forward. Alright, get those in there. Yeah, definitely seeing that the rocks that are coming out of this are stronger now. Dude, already hit. We're gonna need these, aren't we? Oh, dude, get your bubbles out the way. There you go. I need a lot more health, please, game. I need a lot more health. The frogs goddamn dodged me. Oh, that Eternal Heart. Definitely shouldn't have picked that up now. I'm going to lose that very, very quickly. But yeah, I, I want to sort of know from you guys that have played this character or know a bit more about, about it than I do. Um, some of the more optimal ways to play this guy, because I'd definitely be willing to revisit him once I learn more about him. I'm sure Sl um, I'm sure Slay will do a video on him soon, and I'll be able to figure it out from that. Hey, Stephen Floor. Um, and I'll be able to figure out some stuff from that, but any tips that you guys might have, always welcome. Because, yeah, I want to know how we how we effectively use that heart rupture. Well, not the heart rupture, that's the item we've got. The, the thing where we um, hold it above our head and absorb it and go into rage mode and die. I'm not exactly sure how we effectively use that. Maybe that's like a last-ditch effort sort of thing if things are really not going well. Uh, or maybe it's something we can use a little more reliably and I just don't quite understand how it works at the moment. It's a, it's a bit of a risky bisky right now, so... Good. There's a bomb. Could have used that last floor. I think, it, I think the, the slam is really only good if you're getting them against a wall. Otherwise, it's not going to do a ton. Hey, there you go. That was a good hit. Too much green creep, though. Get out of here. Oh, my God. The bombs are falling fast and loose now. Yeah, I don't know when I want to risk it with trying this, uh, this other thing. It could be super useful and it's something I'm super underutilizing, but... It could also just as easily be something that is a last-ditch effort that means that I'm going to end up killing myself with it again. Oh, dude. You can't... I, I need these. You can't fall them all on their side. Dude. Come on. There you go. Little bit annoying, but we got there. Oh, dude, I'm just standing up close and personal now, seeing what can happen. It's very risky, but hey, ooh, bad side could be good. I wonder how this works. Do we just fire out a fire with a punch sometimes? Or is it only when we hit enemies? Oh, no, we just fire out a fire with our punches every now and again. Okay, this is good. A lot of extra DPS there. I will bomb through this in order to claim some HP. Away we go. Oh god damn, yeah, the fires are going to be a huge DPS increase here. I love that, we got flame fists going on now. Okay, our damage is definitely starting to feel better now. It's still still not quite perfect. I'm going to come back over here, wherever you are. There you go. Beautiful. Get as many fires under his butt as we possibly can. Luckily, we can push him into the fires as well, which is nice. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, our damage is really coming a long way now. Another Eternal Heart there. Our Red Heart game is strong. Do I want to go to the Steven floor? I honestly don't really have any items I want to trade away, so I don't really think there's much point. Let's go, let's go regular. Keep it going. But yeah, I can definitely see this guy having some really interesting synergy potential as well. Dude, having having Devil Deal stay alive as his character 
literally never going to happen for me unless I have a lot of soul hearts. Because I am going to be getting hit literally all the time. The range is so low. But that's, that's, I guess, why you use the throwables more often. But I don't know. I'm always the sort of person when it's a melee character or any one of the kind that I want to use the melee more than I want to use the throwables. Even if the throwables are more effective. I did the same on like Undermine and stuff as well. It's going to be the death of me though. This thing needs to die. There you go. My god, the damage we're taking right now is not good. Oh, hello. Maybe I can kill these guys inside of this radius. One. Wow, just a key. I guess I'll check in here. I, honestly, oh, I was going to say if it was a full run reroll, I'd be up for it. Just to, just to try something new. The D12 summoning thing going on, which can be quite fun. It just takes a little while is all. Hey, it's soul hearts. What was I just saying about needing those? Ow. Ow. <laughs> the soul hearts have gone already, or at least one of them has. We good? No, we're not good. Throw a few rocks at you. Get in his face. Oh god, I feel so powerful. It's weird, like, I'm taking so much damage and I'm, like, really not doing a lot of damage. But, like, just the, the nature of this character it makes you feel so strong. More damage there is lovely. And justice is kind of good here as well. Been to item room already. I think I'm just going to try and lead to the next floor. God damn yeah. Okay, things are feeling good there. By the way, how did I enter rage mode before without holding the thing above my head? I don't really know. But my rage meter is full. Like, is there something I can do with it once it's full? I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just playing this character like I want to die. <laughs> right, even more damage. Good, good. Keep this keep this trainer going. I really want to try and hold the rock up on my head and use Q again. But I, I'm scared it'll kill me. It killed me last time. What if it kills me again? But I, I don't want to miss out on, on something interesting with the character. But at the same time, I'm scared. <laughs> I really hate this room with a burning passion. Double keys. Nice. Full health? Ah, bugger. We could use a full health right about now. I'm definitely going to die before we finish this run. That is inevitable, but I feel like that's fine in a character showcase. As long as we kind of get a good idea of what the character is and what they do, which I think... We've got a pretty good idea so far. The only thing that I'd really love to see next up with this showcase is see like a unique synergy. Yep, that's a unique synergy. There you go. It's, <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be good. But that's the exact sort of thing I was looking for. Ask and you shall receive. That seems interesting. A burst, like a flurry of fists. Dude, that creep is in a really unfortunate position. Yeah, I have no idea what health I'm on, by the way, at the minute. I am on a wing and a prayer right now. Hoping for the goddamn best. But this is... This is strong. Do some really good damage with this. Or at least it seems like. Oh yeah, this is like really good damage wise. Oh dude. <laughs> I teleported straight into the mother fight. Whether I wanted to be here or not, I'm here now. Alright, 
Right. Try and burst out more fires where we can. I can't remember if it's while I'm charged or while I'm uncharged that teleports me when I get hit. Hey, Nice one. You got that going on. I'm going to take this just for the damage. And... I'm going to take this for the damage. And I'm mainly doing this because if I get hit and teleported out, I don't care. Nice. Where's the other boss? There is another boss, right? There he is. Ow! He whippeth me. He whippeth me. God, this is so satisfying, man. I kind of love Cursed Eye with this character. It's it's horrible, but great. Oh, goddamn Dingle. You want speedy boy. Like, look at that. Just, oh. Keep wailing on him. The damage output right now is crazy. I love it. Oh my god. Cursed Eye. Made good. Can we deal with Blur easily? Ah, there's our teleport. It's going to happen eventually. Oh, it's made us do this room again for some reason. Did we not finish this room before? Did I bomb my way out of it? Or was it just the two of the same room? I think it's just two of the same room. Oh, we got an Eternal Heart as well. All righty then. Unfortunately... As to how likely that Eternal Heart is to stay alive, I, I could not possibly answer. Dude, it's gone already. Fucking god damn it, the second room. How dare you, game. <laughs> god, I launched that guy. Oh, and then I got teleported. Oop, we did get Job's Leper Flesh. Duplicate every item in the room similar to Diplopia. It's a reusable Diplopia. Kind of crazy. Right. Don't know what health I'm on. Can't imagine it's good. Get yeah, all good. We good to go? Yep, we are. Nice. Okay, we're going to get some throwables here. There you go. Oh, dude, our throwables are firing at some big rocks now. Look at that. Look at the size of those rocks now. They might be a little more usable now. It's seeming like. Oop, the fire got him mostly. Oh, okay, that that's pretty awesome. I don't I don't know how much we needed that, but I feel like it was probably more than I know. More than I can possibly know. And we got a dice machine. I didn't even get a payout from it. Anyhow, anyhow, down we go. This is actually becoming a pretty fun and decent run. I did say, maybe he just starts out weak and then it gets crazy later on. It does seem to be that... Oh, dude, the polyps look ace. It does seem to be the case that later down the line... We're getting some more intriguing stuff going on. I mean, the fact that Cursed Eye is actually good on a character is... Pretty baffling on its own. Pretty baffling on its own. But yeah, getting a bunch of damage upgrades to this guy. Probably helping a ton as well, obviously. Nice. Don't know where and when we're going to use Job's Leper Flesh. I, I don't know how many items are going to be that we want to duplicate. I guess we'll check a devil deal and see if there's stuff we want to steal or something. Nice. And yeah, the throwables, I'm not I'm not keeping them as a priority, but when I can use them, they are pretty good. Oh, dude. Three max HP for void bombs. That was not at all worth it, my, my, the time that I put into it. That's kind of upsetting. Like, I was only going to give him two, 
Dude, you teleported me into the cash room again? Why? D there's other rooms, game. There is other rooms. D like, how how has this fallen apart so quickly? Yeah, I was only going to give him two red hearts, but then I'd already given him two and he wanted a third. And I'm like, well, at this point, if I don't give him the third, then I've put given him two for nothing. I might as well try and get something out of it. I'm a little, little worried now. Before, I was thinking this run's going quite all right. Now it's like, uh... I don't know. I'm going to need some more HP pretty soon to feel more comfortable right now. He threw it back at me. How dare you. Hey, these goddamn things. Yep. Okay, so it looks like, unfortunately, due to my own stupidity... We're definitely going to die very shortly. What the fuck's that shot? It's lingering. I don't like it. Stay away. Dude, you gave me so much health before, game. Where's all, where's all that health gone now? We entered Ultra Rage mode. Does that mean we're dead? Dude, why let this guy die? I think I've got to find HP, otherwise I'm dead. That's it. We're dead. Oh, no. No, we're not. Okay. I'm slightly confused, but happy. Okay, good. Don't think we're going to do great on this boss, but getting an extra heart there is nice. We'll pop a strength card as well. Good. Yeah, they do pretty good damage now. Okay, we just about got through that. Could have duplicated that, but I didn't really see the need. No devil deal of any kind, of course. That would be ludicrous as his character. Did we get more range? Oh boy. We seem to got... Did Sty give us a bunch of range? Because goddamn, our punches. Oh, spreading out way far, way far than they were before. Oh, dude, I thought there was an enemy creep then on the floor, that red. I hesitated and it got me goddamn killed. Or hurt, should I say, not killed. Dude! Why does it- why does Cursed Eye keep teleporting me to the same goddamn rooms over and over again? Please stop. I've stopped using my dash as much just because my normal attack is actually pretty goddamn good now. Temperance. I got a half soul heart. Please, did that save me? I got a half soul heart. Where did that go? <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, there is clearly a lot I do not understand about this character at all. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.